Hi and welcome to another video from me, Christopher DBG. It's going to be one of our first 3D printed models. I printed just for myself and not for Warhammer. A reptile Mortal Kombat mask. Let me show you how I did it, what I did, and pros and cons of doing something silly like this. Oh, so here is the artist of this reptile mask which is Shakar OK. Now they have loads of different files. I don't know when I got this file. I think I just got sent it or I downloaded it. I'm not 100% sure how I got it, to be fair. It's, I get so many files. I've got like two, two gigabyte, no, two, two, two terabyte worth of compressed files still to sort out on my external hard drives. And then I've got loads more as well. But as you can see, Shakar OK, has loads of different files, I have an Instagram to like, follow, all of that for them. Um, I'm going to upload the file on Chuchu Box. You're going to see it, let's see what it's like, and then I'll get this spin a little bit of spin so you can see it closer as well. Let me know what you think. Our file all uploaded, I couldn't keep the mask on because I couldn't really speak that well um, in it. But here is a file, there is a smooth version and a different version. Didn't really have the teeth, but I like the teeth. Um, thought it was more the style I wanted to go for and I quite like this pattern going along here as you can see it's quite a big print um, there was nothing really to do to it um, the file I've got is not supported I don't think it's really designed for resin but I wanted to give it a try especially using the different colours anyway um, the colour I went for was just the standard um green green crystal something like that um that's elgu so nothing special um no mixes or anything like that so let's support this thing and then let's look at my settings here we are all loaded up and supported so let's have a look at my settings this is not an angle i generally recommend that you do um i could have put it all the way up facing but the, the print time was just way too long um, and used more resin than what I really wanted. So this is what I've gone for. It was success, you know, so first try. Um, there's a lot of supports on here, probably over more than what you probably probably can do. Um, but let's have a look at the settings. So this is the resin I'm using. It's ABS. No, it's not ABS. This is what I've mislabeled. Um, I'm using the green crystal uh 0.03 millimeter layer height um, bottom layer is five exposure time is four bottom exposure is 40 this is probably about three higher than what you probably need um or even five higher but my printing area is really really cold um even with my vat so what that means is the plate is cold and the resin's hot but every time it comes up especially over it a long print the plate's going to get colder and um, where it's not in the resin so that's why it's got that it's a really cement um a solid expo um, layer basically which is my raft and that's basically it so let me know what you think so far so that's it let's have a little bit of a spin to see the layers i always like this bit and see it's just all supports then the bottoms And you see, it's a long, long print. You know, we're almost heading into 2,000 layers. And it is because I am doing it at that 0 0.0 three layer height. You can easily get away with 0 0.05 um, on this model, but I don't want to muck out too much of my settings. I'm quite happy with it. Um, and that's how it's gone so far. And there we are, 3,700 and something layers. Um, and let me show you how long it took to print. So 13 hours, um, cost £4.50 in resin. I always say caution on these because my hours were definitely not 13 hours. It was about 14 and a half hours, um, really. So, and resin's was pretty accurate on how much I used. Um, 
it's quite cheap for a mask. Obviously, you've got to get set up. I've got to clean it. I've got to cure it. All of that costs electric. Um, so don't. When anyone says it's cheap to print, there is obviously hidden costs that people don't often tell you about. But for a mask wise, could I have bought something similar online? Yes. Would it have cost me about 20 quid? Probably. Um, because that's what I've seen them definitely on Etsy. Was it more fun to print? Yeah. Ruler cool. 100% more fun. And that's what we got. So let's get some close ups on a mask. Let's see it spinning round. Um, I did glue. Just because I really didn't know what to do, to be honest. Um, I did um, some, what's it called? Hot glue on this side and this side. And just put a strap that you wear for like goggle masks. Um, just to get it on, really. I just wanted to see what it would look like. Um, obviously, you can do it a lot more professional if you wanted. You could add clippers. You could do all that. But it's it's resin, so it's a lot. You have to be careful what you're going to use. Um, because it's a little bit more brittle especially the uh, the standard color style um, but that's what I did so let's get a close up let's see it spinning and tell me what you think so here we are spinning round <laughs> is the mask now if you like 3d printed stuff then please tell me what you'd like to see printed maybe I'll give it a go if you like giveaways then definitely comment um, and check out our Warhammer bust giveaway from station forge or well, the bust is from station forge anyway that i bought on the tribe so but for this i really like the green i think it glistens well um it's definitely got a little bit too much of a imprint uh, or depth um from my supports probably over from over supporting so that's a learning curve probably need to take that down a bit um I was worried about filing it and then glossing up. Um, I did use a like a clear coat um, before curing because that's what I've read online by people like Jesse. Um, so that seems to be giving a better shine on this sort of crystal style resin. So yeah, really like it. Tell me what you think. Um, let's wrap it up. So thank you all for watching. Hope you liked it. Say that down a bit. <laughs> but what did you think on a mask? You think it's cool? You know, it's a waste. <laughs> would you do print stuff like this? Or would you print completely something different? Let me know. Please like, subscribe, all of that jazz. And wherever you are, happy hobbying and happy printing. <laughs>